this is a prime example on how radical most homosexuals and lesbians are. Hey guys, what's going on? This is the conservative speaking, and I wanted to speak about the mass shooting that occurred in Philadelphia the day before the 4th of July, which resulted in five people being killed and two others being injured. <clears throat> and the reason why I wanted to highlight this is because there's a major issue happening uh, in America, but particularly in the black community where time and time and time again we are starting to see this among the blacks but the reason why this it this actually made the news was because this happened to be a random attack this is not one of these common attacks that are that are known to happen in a common area uh where, where the blacks uh, where where the, the blacks are known to to uh, kill each other this attack happened to be done randomly and it happened to be done by a a cross-dressing deranged black male who clearly could who clearly did not know how to um, control his emotions or or real or I think in a real sense he was conflicted with himself but yet didn't know how to resolve his confliction. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now this report was provided by the New York Post. Gunmen arrested for Philadelphia mass shooting that left five dead is a Black Lives Matter activist who wore women's clothes sources says and this is the person that was alleged to have committed this crime he his name is Kim Brady Carriker he is a 40 year old man posing as a female I mean this man clearly has mental illness and he is the person that is responsible for the mass shooting. The, I'm sorry. Uh, the rifle-wielding suspect who donned a bulletproof vest before allegedly shooting dead five men and injuring two children in Philadelphia has been identified as a Black Lives Matter supporter who shares ton, ton gun-toting memes on social media this is amazing um, this is amazing uh, considering the fact that the victims that were killed were all black men I just find it ironic that a black person who supports who is a black lives matter activist uh, takes it upon himself to randomly kill black people the irony the irony Kim Brady character 40 years old was nabbed shortly after the bloodshed in the city's kiss kissing 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 neighborhood Monday night the Philadelphia Inquirer reported citing sources cops haven't yet publicly dis the, uh, disclose the suspect's identity. So keep in mind, <clears throat> this incident occurred July 3rd, and it took them two days to actually identify the suspect. So this person goes out, guns down, guns down five people, and and they nab the suspect the same day, and yet they wait two days later to reveal the identity and uh, you want to know why well simple because he was black and we all know how the media especially the Philadelphia media um, likes to safeguard the blacks from any wrongdoing 
even when they are at the wrong for their very wrongdoing. I promise you, if this was a white person, not only would, would his name would have been posted that same day, but his face would have been posted as well because the narrative is only white people commit mass shootings. Even though the last three mass shootings that we have now had this year, the last three high profile mass shootings were all committed by the blacks. All right. Uh, the mass shooting that occurred on April 15th in Alabama, <clears throat> in which several people were shot and and two people were killed i believe 15 were shot and two people were killed committed by young black teens the mass shooting that recently occurred in baltimore 28 people shot two dead committed by young black teens and then the mass shooting that occurred in philadelphia committed by a a black man all right this whole idea that the blacks do not commit mass shootings is asinine blacks commit mass shootings every single day it's just not reported in the media but this mass shooting had had to be reported and the fake news mafia did everything that they could to even reveal the identity of the shooter because they know that that would go against the very narrative that they're trying to paint which is only white people commit mass shootings amazing on his Facebook page, Carriker posted two pictures of himself wearing a bra, a woman's top, <clears throat> and earrings with his hair braided long in March, three months before the alleged shooting. <clears throat> he also regularly posts about supporting Black Lives Matter, including supporting workers who protested in the strike for Black Lives in July of 2020. This is amazing. Again, uh, a Black Lives Matter activist guns down five black people. And yet, this is a person that supports black lives. Can't make this up, folks. You really cannot make this up. And then here's, here's the picture of this deranged man who clearly needs help. Um, clearly, this man is not in his right state of mind. And um, this man, this cross-dressing male uh, more than likely is a homosexual and is a byproduct. And if, if I had to guess, is a byproduct of being raised by a single mother. So for all of you people that, that claim that being raised by a single mother uh, doesn't doesn't affect the development of children. Here is a prime example of how that is otherwise. Being raised by a single mother is counterproductive and has been counterproductive to the black community for almost nine decades. Ever since the ever since the war on poverty was was launched and ever since the blacks have given themselves to to the government system via accepting welfare the blacks have never ever recovered and here is the byproduct of the blacks being raised by a single mother i mean look look at this guy this guy truly believes that he is a female amazing There, there, there he is again. I mean, clearly, this is a person that suffers from identity crisis. But, and, and the reason why he suffers from identity crisis is because this man was a beta male, and the the fact that he had beta male ideologies that were never corrected was the reason why he winds up having turmoil and then having to take it out in a matter that is detrimental to the black community. I mean, just look at him. He, he really believes that he is a female. And he has on a dress 
with a bra. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Well, we all know what's wrong. He has he has the identity of a woman, and no real man in their right mind will ever carry the identity of, of a woman, unless he was raised by one and only one. Police say said the 40-year-old male suspect was armed with a rifle, pistol, extra magazines, a police scanner, and a bulletproof vest when he fatally shot four men on the street and then chased and killed a fifth man inside a home. So <clears throat> uh the the report that was that was being that was being said was that the police officers were were, were responding uh to a shooting that occurred and when the police responded i mean when the police arrived and were trying to attend to the uh, to the shooting victims they actually heard additional shooting and i believe the additional shooting was this man chasing and killing a fifth man um close by what a mess a two-year-old boy was shot four times in the leg, while a 13-year-old boy also suffered gunshot wounds to his leg, according to the police. The gunman had fired at police as they chased him down for several blocks before he eventually surrendered in an alleyway, police commissioner Daniel Outlaw said. If this is not the equivalent of black privilege, I don't know what is. I don't know any suspect that will be willing to shoot at police, especially Philadelphia police, and not expect the Philadelphia police to return fire. I guess they figured they I guess they figured that they already had a description of the suspect and they said, "Whoa. Uh yep. Well, we we can't we can't kill him cuz we can't shoot at this person. This person is black." All right? And so they allowed this deranged black man to shoot at him, I mean to shoot at them without shooting back. Again, if that is not the the epitome of black privilege, I don't know what is. Character also described himself as a computer engineer and showed an interest in guns, posting pictures and memes of people with firearms. One image featured a person holding a pistol with the caption, Where, where, wherefore art thou o opposition, so I may slide upon thy block and runneth down on thee? That is amazing. Another one of his posts shows footage of several kids firing off rounds from a rifle. And then here is a picture that he posted of a burning Philadelphia police car on Facebook. And th this is just lovely to see the blacks work in action. And so whenever the blacks oh, complain about being stereotyped, all the blacks have to do is refer back to the very work that they chose to capture for the whole world to see. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is black excellence. This is black culture. This is the blacks at their best. And the blacks at their best is being violent to themselves and to the very society that they dwell in. In May of 2020, Character also posted a video to his Facebook of a burning Philadelphia police car that has been that had been dubbed with graffiti, including ACAP, which is an acronym for All Coppers Are. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna state that he meant to say bitches. Um, all all coppers are. Are, are, are BDs I guess well that one that one mean bitches I guess that would mean bastards and caption it I was there where were you hashtag we matter however it is unclear if he had filmed the video himself the shooter who was taken into custody without incident didn't have any connections to the victims prior to the shooting outlaw added this was a random attack and yet, and yet there was there was an additional report that that stated that the reason why he did this was because he wanted to clean up the streets from <clears throat> um, 
uh, from 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 additional crime occurring in the streets. So, are, so are, is he saying that the very five people that he targeted were some were somehow perpetrators of street of the street violence that occurred in Philadelphia? Um, I'm going to take the lather and say no. That that this this man clearly has mental issues um, because he has the mindset of a woman and just decided to to have um, an outburst and took it out on five random people that happened to be at the wrong place at the right time. Carriker's old roommate Tina Rosette, 49, told the Inquirer she was shocked to learn of his involvement, of his involvement in the shooting. And then here's another picture of him. I mean, just just look at that face. The moment you see this this image, you have to be thinking one or two things: that either this is the ugliest woman that you've ever seen in your life, or that this is a man posing to be a female. I mean, come on. I didn't even know he had a gun, she said. Rosette described Carriker as a really smart, intelligent, creative, and somewhat someone who loved computers, but said that he had an aggressive approach to some things in life. She recalled him teaching young people how to fight uh, perp perpetually in self-defense, but he failed to give them directions on when to stop. Amazing. That's, that was from an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. I mean, look at the bullet holes here. Rosette's daughter, Siani Rosette, also lived, in, also lived with the alleged shooter, said that character had flashed a handgun several times. He tried to get me comfortable around guns and stuff like that. The mother and the daughter said that they lived with character in 2021, but moved out a year ago. I think I, I think because they they sensed something was up, and they didn't and they just didn't want to be around this guy. Amazing. The elder Rosette said she believed he'd been in a darkened place of late, but she didn't know why. Right. They all never know why. They they all just oh how did he lose it? How could he go off the deep end? You people know why. Uh, a, a, a decline, a decline in the family has a lot to do with it, but that's for another day. Carriker has been arrested in, in 2003 and charged with a possession of a weapon without a license, carrying a firearm in public, and drug possession, according to Philadelphia court records. So the thing is, this man um, had a prior conviction of of being in possession of an unlicensed handgun which usually will give an automatic five-year sentence this shouldn't even have been settled in local court this should be, this should have been settled in federal court this man should have been able this man should have been uh this man should have been in federal prison but instead he pled guilty to having a firearm without a license and he served no jail time only three years probation and was forced to to pay a thousand dollar fine you see this is again the system failing the people especially the system the the justice system in philadelphia character at one point appeared to start his own company lds frameworks writing software and developing computer games but it has been inactive since 2019 at the scene of monday's night shooting officers say that they found dozens of shell casings casings strewn across eight blocks you can see there are several scenes out here. And then obviously the the victims were Lashid Lashid Merritt. Oh wow, a bunch of black names here. Um Lashid Merritt, Dimir Stanton, twenty-nine, Ralph Morales, fifty-nine, Dewan Brown, fifteen, and Joseph Wama Jr. Amazing stuff. It's just amazing that a 
Black Lives Matter activist randomly kills five black people and, and claim to support black lives. That is the irony, ladies and gentlemen. That is the irony. But mainly, that's what Black Lives Matter were all about. A radical, violent, agitated group uh, that are ran by immoral people that the blacks chose to follow. But I think the, the, bigger, the bigger pie in this story is, where is Black Lives Matter? Where's Black Lives Matter? I haven't heard one single Black Lives Matter representative or organizer come out to make a statement to denounce this. And the same Black Lives Matter that told you to, to say the names of, of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and 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 the and the rest and the rest of these and the rest of the uh, the organ and the rest of the people that Black Lives Matter chose to make a profit off of. I mean, you know, you you talk about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, uh, a, a bunch of thugs. E either they were black thugs or or they were black people that supported thugs that happened to put themselves in the crossfire of police and Black Lives Matter wants you to say their names but I haven't heard not one single Black Lives Matter organizer want, wanting you to remind you to say the names of Lashiv Merritt, Damir Stanton, Ralph Morales, Duan Brown and Joseph Wama Jr. What about those five black people? What about those people? Of course, Black Lives Matter, just like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, whenever it comes down to black people harming and killing other blacks, they're nowhere to be found. But quite the irony that they come up with an organization called Black Lives Matter. And yet, when black lives are lost at the hands of, of other blacks, they're nowhere to be found. Complete silence. Aha! That's how you get Black Lives Matter supporters to remain silent. All right? Have them witness or have them know about a black person harming and killing another black person. Because we all know when that happens, not only are they nowhere to be found, but they are, they, for, they are forever silenced on that issue. Well, another sad situation, but something that occurs every single day, especially in Philadelphia. But this story was too big, too grand to make it a meniscal story that they could just sweep under the rug. But you and I know, we know better. We know that this occurs all the time and that the blacks more than any other race commits more mass shootings than any other sad story but a true story amazing but let me know what you guys think leave a comment in the comment section after you subscribe to my channel click the like button if you like the video share this video because this needs to be shared and this information needs to be passed on and subscribe 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 to my channel as i will be able to provide you content on a double also when you subscribe to my channel click on the notification button so that you will be notified when new content drops on my channel. And with that being said, this is The Conservative, and I'm signing out. Rest in peace to the ones, to the victims that were affected. And, um, and unfortunate, yes, we could say pray to the families, but the blacks really need to come back to God because this is just a prime example of how the blacks are falling out with God. They can't do it on their own. They need the guidance of God to help them lead to, for them to be led 
towards the right path. Amazing. Till next till next time, folks. Why history must gonna celebrate with my friends? It's what history must So be sure to tell everyone there will always be different months to celebrate. This month's gonna be what history.